Hello everyone, this was a requested video about top five reasons why your BMW E46 won't start. I'm actually, I actually just had this problem today that I just fixed and I thought I'd make a video about it also because I got my car, car would not start. And there's many different reasons why, but I'm just gonna outline the five most common things I could think of of why it wouldn't start. Number one being low battery voltage. And this may seem something like really small, but biggest thing, these cars have a big battery, a lot of electronics. So if your battery voltage is very low, you won't be able to start your car. And that's really, if you get in your car and if you put, if you try to start it and you hear click, 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 it's battery's low or if it's doing nothing, it's completely dead. I'm actually gonna show you in the next clip of how to test your battery voltage with the onboard computer, just so you can know your battery voltage Right there, click, 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 as you saw. It's not gonna start because it's dead. But I'm gonna show you how to show, uh, chest your battery, battery voltage inside the car. I mean, if you have a multimeter, you can just hook it up to positive and negative terminals, but if not, I'll show you how to do that for the first one. So to test your battery voltage with the car's onboard computer, you're gonna take your key, stick it in position one, one click, inspection's gonna come up, you're gonna hold the left trip reset, Test one, go all the way to test 19. Let go at test 19, it's gonna say off. It's gonna flash on, off, and then you can just keep clicking and you're gonna click again till it says test nine. Let go on test nine, we'll stop clicking. And you can see my voltage, 80, it's saying 87, 84, 80, like it's fluctuating all, that means 8.5, 8.3, 8.2, that's my actual battery voltage. So when you see that, that's you know what your battery voltage is. That's clearly not enough to start a car. So right now I'm charging up the battery. The second, the top, the second top reason why your car, your BMW E46 might not start is because it has what's called a parasitic draw. And that's something that's uh, constantly causing the battery to drain even when the engine's off. So something like, a um, amp could do it, aftermarket radio, I mean, I have the OEM one, uh, aftermarket headlights, that were things that were in wire, that things that were wired incorrectly, fuses, or in the most cases, it's gonna be what's called your final stage resistor, which is responsible for turning the motor up on your uh, climate control. So that's just, that's the second one. The third reason why your car, your, car may not start up is because of the EWS system that's put in place in BMW. So in here, there is a little chip that change, that, that has a code and it changes every single time you lock and unlock your car, that code, that encrypted code changes. So you're, you have what's called an EWS module underneath your steering wheel and that might not be coded to this chip or it may have lost the connection so it doesn't know that this key belongs to the car because there's a this ring right in here tells your car tells the key that says this is the right key, start the car. So to test this to see if it's working, if you put the key in the ignition, you put it to position two. If you open up your door, my car's dead, but if you open up your door and it's beeping, or if you have beeping at all, that beeping means that your car, EWS system, it's communicating that these two are the right system saying that this key belongs to this car, okay, I'll start the car. And a way to diagnose this, if you have another key, just grab your other key and try starting the car and see if that works. If it works, you know that that EWS system and that key is faulty. Reason number four why your BMW won't start is because you're not getting gas to the engine. And this can be caused by a, the fuel filter. The fuel filter is pretty easy to replace. It's located under the driver's seat. You have to get under the car. But a lot of the times these filters get clogged from using crappy gas or using or bad gas and they need to be replaced every 15,000 miles regardless. So after 15,000 miles, the filters are usually junk and you usually need to get a new one. So that could be one reason why your car's not actually getting gas. And a way to test this is you can take some um, fuel injector cleaner and spray in the uh, the intake and see if the car starts or makes a different sound, like sputters a little more. Then you know that you're getting that to the engine and that's why your car is not starting. Um, in the case of the 330, and the 325, I think it is, or the 320, no, the 328, the, three, the 330 and the 328, 
the fuel pump regulator is built into the fuel filter. If you have a 325 or 323, you do not have that built in and it could either be your fuel filter or your fuel pressure regulator. But again, if you have a 330 or 328, it's built in together and I suggest you replace that. Number five, and the biggest reason why your BMW E46 will not start, there is a design flaw in this part. It is the fuel pump slash fuel pump relay or fuse. So in the BMW E46, the fuel pump is located under the back seat about right here where the gas tank is. If you pull this off, it just pulls off. You will see a hole in your fuel pump going in there. And what happens is gas lubricates the fuel pump and cools it down. Well, over time, if you let your car get to like one fourth of a tank or very, very low, there's not a lot of gas in the fuel pump and in the tank to cool and lubricate the fuel pump. This causes failures and you can have what's called a soft failure. And that's when your car gets to about one fourth the gas, one fourth of the gas level, you realize your car starts to bog down, starts to feel like it's gonna die. And that is because you have, your fuel pump is prematurely failing because there's not enough lubricant and gas to cool it. So that's really one of the biggest reasons why your car won't start and to uh, remedy this, just get a new fuel pump, get a good quality one, don't get a cheap one, and it should be all set. But also, if you notice your car starting to sputter, starting to feel like it's sloshing down and just slowing down, it could be your fuel pump. It could be getting ready to go. And in this case, to test your fuel pump, my car is dead, so I might not be able to do it. But if you turn your key to position two, you didn't hear it because my car is dead. But if you hear like a and then stops or any sort of sound for a little, then it stops coming from the rear, coming from about back here. That's your fuel pump starting up. And that means your fuel pump is working. If you don't hear that and your battery voltage is good and everything else checks out in this video that I told you, most likely it is your fuel pump. And nine times out of 10, I'd say it is your fuel pump in the BMW E46. It's an awful, it's an awfully designed part. And it is one of the biggest failures in the BMW E46. And most likely the reason why your car will not start. Now, the part is not that expensive. I think you can get a good quality one for around 160 and it's not that hard to install, but I recommend even if your car does start to replace that because they go bad all the time and I'm pretty sure mine is on the way out and you'll probably be seeing a DIY video on this channel when that's done. Um, that's it for this video. I know it wasn't really too exciting. I mean, just me talking into my car, but it was very informative. I hope you guys learned a lot. If you guys have any questions, leave comments down below. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.